Hi there guys what's up this is your friend and tutor Manas and guys we'll be continuing with our discussion on diagonal scales so it's going to be yet another problem in this video so let's see how it goes here we go on a building plan a line 20 cm long represents a distance of 10 meter devise a diagonal scale for the plan to read up to 12 meters showing meters decimeters and centimeters show on your scale the length 6.48 meter and 11.14 meter so for all you guys who don't know what the meaning of a plan is, plan is basically what you call a top view as far as civil engineering is concerned. All right. So the scale that we are supposed to construct should be good enough to read up to 12 meters. Okay. Apart from this, we have to do this RF calculation. So some kind of a relationship has been given to us between the drawing length and the actual length. So anything on drawing which is 20 centimeters long, a line 20 centimeter long on a drawing sheet. In reality, it represents a distance of 10 meters. Okay, so the actual length is going to be 10 meters, whereas the drawing length is going to be 20 meters. So we have this formula for RF length on drawing that is going to be 20 centimeter long line. Okay, actual length that is in reality it represents 10 meters. So let's put in these values. Clearly, see the numerator is in centimeters, denominator is in meters. So some kind of a conversion has to take place. So in place of meter, we're going to write centimeters so one meter is equivalent to 100 centimeters let's do this let's cut this centimeter and centimeter so we have this finally 1 over 50 all right so 1 over 50 is basically what you call a reducing scale and something in reality was 10 meters it has been compressed or shrinked by 50 times so that it can fit properly in a drawing sheet and it's going to be equal to a line of 20 centimeter long fine let's move towards the length of scale so for length of scale we have this formula rf into ml maximum length so rf is 1 over 50 maximum length 12 meters let's put in these values so meters has to be converted into centimeters so in place of meter i'm going to write 100 centimeters 52 is 100 2 into 12 is going to be 24 okay so the length of scale has worked out as 24 centimeters so let's get started with the construction guys fine so initially we're going to be drawing a line Okay, so this is going to be a 24 centimeter long line, which in reality represents a distance of 12 meters. Okay, so in order to precisely see a division of one meter each, you need to divide this line into 12 equal parts, right? And for that, I'm going to be drawing a line from this point, random length at any suitable angle, and I'm going to be putting up 12 arcs of one centimeter radii, something like this. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. And we're going to join this point with the end of this line. Okay. Keep your drafters over here. Tighten the screw. Bring it to this 11th point. Draw a line. And keep on doing so until all these points have been exhausted. Okay. And finally, you're going to realize that this line, this 20 feet, 24 centimeter long line on drawing sheet, which in reality represents 12 meters, has been divided into 12 equal parts with each part representing a distance of one meter okay so at the end of first division we're going to be placing a zero over here and this is going to be one two three four and so on that's it until we reach 11 okay so to the right of zero we have the main unit in the form of meter over here let's write representative fraction and towards the left of zero the immediate smaller unit to meter is decimeter in fact all right now let's give this diagonal scale some some kind of height by default we're going to be taking this as five centimeters let's do that that's it now these so-called intersection points now we're going to be raising lines from these points something like this all right guys please look over here this portion i'm talking about towards the left of zero now this portion represents a distance of one meter okay now one meter is equivalent to 10 decimeters so i can also say that this portion over here represents a distance of 10 decimeters so in order to see precisely a division of one decimeter each you need to divide this line this line over here into 10 equal parts and for that from this point, I'm going to be drawing a line, okay, let's say of any random length at any suitable angle, in fact, and I'm going to be putting up arcs of, say, 5 millimeters, okay, something like this. How many arcs? Now, since this line has to be divided into 10 parts, I'm going to be placing 10 arcs, 5, 6, 8, 9, and 10. Let's join this 10th point with the end of this line over here. That's it. Let's keep your drafters along this line. Tighten this group, bring it to this 9th point, draw a line, keep on doing so until all the points have been exhausted and you should realize that, that all these points must turn up parallelly okay and this point okay this portion over here represents one decimeter right and this one has to be joined with this zero and chapter has to be kept along this line this diagonal line tighten the screw 
bring it to this second point draw a line keep on doing so all right finally all the points will be exhausted fine now guys this portion represents one decimeter two three four and this is going to be five all right six seven eight nine and this is going to be ten now there is one more division which has to be given respect there are three divisions starting from meter and then the immediate smaller unit was decimeter and the smaller unit to decimeter is going to be centimeters now one decimeter is equivalent to 10 centimeters now this portion over here guys represents a distance of one decimeter so you can also say that this represents a distance of 10 centimeters so in order to precisely see a division of one centimeter each what you need to do is you need to divide this portion into 10 equal parts it does not appear as if we can do 10 parts over here it's pretty difficult so what we're gonna do right now is we'll divide this vertical line into 10 equal parts and for that let's draw a line from this point of any random length at any suitable angle and let's put in arcs of five millimeters radii how many arcs 10 arcs okay so let's do that okay fine 10 tak has to be joined with the end of this vertical line that's this end over here um keep your trafters along this line tighten the screw bring it to this ninth point keep on doing so and finally you should realize that all this vertical line will automatically get divided into 10 equal parts and finally set your drafters horizontally and then do this this is going to be 0 5 and 10 let me show you one more thing that's it okay Fine. So this portion over here represents 10 centimeters. This over here represents 9 centimeters. This is going to be 8, 7, 6 and this is going to be 5. That's why I've written 5 over here. 4, 3, 2, this is 1. Um, this is barely visible. This is going to be 0. So I have written 0 over here. That's centimeters. So three different units in a diagonal scale and precisely that can read up to a unit okay so one meter it can read up to one decimeter it can read also read up to one centimeter so we are also supposed to do some marking of some distances okay the first distance that we're going to work out is 6.48 so this over here from this zero towards right we have six meter 6.4 so towards the left of zeros you have this uh, as one decimeter that is 0.1 so one two three and four okay 0 0.41, 0 0.42, 0 0.43, 0 0.44, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So this is going to be 0.48. From this point to this point, we have 0.48. And from this point to this point, we have 6. So starting from here, 6. And over here, 0 0.48. That's it. So this is going to be 6.48. And we have another distance, 11.14. Okay, guys. So this over here is, this line is benchmark for 11. 11.14, 11 this is 11. This is 0 0.1, 0 0.11, 0 0.12, 0 0.13, 0 0.14. Okay, so that's 11 and that's 11.14. That's it. So that was all from my side, guys. Subscribe to this channel for more such videos on engineering drawing. And if you believe that this video tutorials are added value to your knowledge of engineering drawing, then do subscribe to this channel and also encourage your friends and classmates to do so, so that all of you can learn engineering drawing in the best possible way. And in the upcoming tutorials, I'll be taking up more problems based on diagonal scales. Until then, it's a wrap for today. This is Manas Patnak signing off. Take care, have a great day and keep drawing.